one of the things we found uh, with the putter as well is how you place your hands on the club will impact uh, the rotation or lack thereof of your hips. Uh, and if your arms and hands are un hanging under your shoulders, they have nowhere to go. Absolutely nowhere to go but to return. If they're too close to your body, they're either going to go out and across or back in and across. Through the putting stroke, your arms and hands are going to seek neutral. So if they don't start in neutral, neutral again, being under your arm, uh, under your right under your shoulders, uh, they will return there. So that's going to cause you to cut across either a hook spin or cut spin. So Justin, if you'd go ahead and set up, uh, purposely I've asked Justin to go into a bad grip, so it's too much in the fingers. Uh, we have uh, in the with the putter, we have a very different grip because we're focused more on the palms. And you'll notice, if you look carefully here, Justin's hips are rotated to the left. you feel that, Justin? And with the hips rotated to the left, his weight's going to be more on the right side. Am I correct? Try it. If you just increase the flex in your right knee, you'll feel your weight load more to the right side. And that path will likely... Go ahead and tell me where it's going. Is it going a little out to end? Out to end. Out to end. Yeah. Okay. So, notice his hips. All he's going to do is going to make the grip change, and then we're going to teach you how to do this grip. So, Justin, go ahead and set. Middle of the palm, okay. And now you'll notice how square his hips are. And Justin, first of all, we'll return to this in a moment, but take your right hand off the putter and just let it hang relaxed. Now, if you check your hand position here, you can check shaft plane. Middle of his palm will come right back and cover that grip. It'll be absolutely neutral. Let's show your left hand now. And you can see how his left hand, too, middle of that palm, is going to come right back and cover that. And his hips remain square. Now, Justin, would you go ahead and go back to too much in the fingers for me, please? And we'll see what this does to the shaft plane. And you can see his hips just fly open. Take your right hand off and let it hang totally relaxed. So somewhere, his hands drop. So somewhere through this stroke, for Justin, it's out and then across, back across. It's out to in. So for some players, it's in to out, and the hands may go to what we call, go, please, would you go ahead and grip that for me? Justin has a low shaft plane, but some players will get it too high, and that's a high shaft plane. And either way, it's, they're going to return it to the shoulders. You can fix this very simply by the way you place your hands on your putter. So let's take a look at that now. 